Welcome back, my friends. Thank you for standing by. We're about to have fun with some 50 video games included. Just gonna set a couple things up here real quick. My friends, please wish me luck on this Remnant from the Ashes World Reroll. An event has evaded me for 47 rerolls. I respect the grind. Of course, I wish you luck. Um, so, 50 video games included. It's a plug and play by Dream Gear. It's got a wide variety of games available on it. Let's uh, fire it up. Maybe want to watch your ears. I don't know what the volume level is going to be like. It might be a little loud. Here's your uh, here's your warning. I'm going to turn it on in like five uh, seconds here. All right, that's not bad. Keep the brightness turned down. So we've played through a lot of these already. We've been trying to make it, we've been trying to make it to the end of each of them. That's not always happened. Some games, like Fish Story, I don't know if it actually has an ending. I made it to like level 23 or something like that. And it was just it was just been repeating for like 12 levels at that point. So I, that one may not end. Cannonade, I'm not sure if it ends. I suspect it does, but it's a very long game. So we didn't see the end of that one. And we haven't made it to the end of Power Robot. Power Robot, I also think, has an ending. But it's so long and so difficult. I really... I really don't think I'm ever going to make it to the end of it. Cannonade, maybe. Fish Story, probably not. Power Robot, almost certainly not. How did you fare with Sword Quest, Frowny? Mansta asked. I passed out eventually. Not very well, Mansta. I, uh... I didn't, uh, I didn't actually figure out how to do much of anything. I stuck with it for a good long time, but, uh, I couldn't make it all the way through. Thrifty, welcome in, Thrifty Anvil. Final Blood isn't game 50, missed opportunity. You're right. You're right. Number 50 doesn't even have a clever title. So, Mirror Devil World will be our first game for tonight. I'm going to scan in the paperwork if you're interested in seeing it after your first playthrough. <laughs> uh, Sword Quest? I So, I did take a look at the manual for Sword Quest, which showed me I was right about some things and wrong about others, but even... Uh, and I didn't want to sit and read the whole thing, you know, live where people couldn't see it, but I skimmed through it a bit. But even that didn't really help me to figure things out. Also, um, Sparrow, I don't know if you're still lurking, but I listened to that, uh... I listened to those songs that you put in the Discord, if you're there. And I would say, you're right, they have the same chord progression. But when I listened to um, Popeye... What I thought of was not Earthworm Jim, but what I thought of was Please Mr. Postman. Um, I think it, I think it might have the, it, I think it might have the same chords as that, or something else. It's got the same chords as a, 
It's, it, it's actually the exact same music that do 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 like that that bass line is from a song from that era. That's not the bass line in Mr. Postman, but I think it's the same chord progression. But there is a song from that era that has that exact bass line from like 50s, 60s, somewhere around there, I think. But I can't place what the song, what the exact song is. But uh, it makes me think of uh, "Please, Mr. Postman" is the closest thing I could think of. Where's the Prima Guide for the Sword Quest games? It's 100% the same thing. <laughs> the same chords, but not the not the exact same bass line. Or maybe, or I might have been listening, I might have been listening to a different version of Postman. Fort Jams, welcome in. Uh, welcome to 50 Video Games Included. We're just getting started. Here goes uh, Mirror Devil World. It's another Nature Clan game, okay. This will be the third Nature Clan game that we've played. These have been manageable so far. Oh, well, let's not. No, no, I don't want to see the demo. No, I don't want to see the demo. I just I have to oop, reset. All right, here we go. I'm trying to figure out what to do.
this is very perplexing. I'm just, I'm not sure what I'm doing. joke, Ferrum. Yeah, if you want to share it in the Discord, I might be able to check it out later. Warcham says, I got the Yu-Gi-Oh! 25th Anniversary Edition Legendary Collection. I have an Obelisk, the Tormentor card, with a blue back and the Winged Dragon, a bra with a yellow back. Sort of reading the rest of them here. All of them are real and cannot be used in tournaments at all since they don't have the Yu Gi Oh! TCG logo on the back. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't know anything about Yu Gi Oh! at all, board jams. But uh, hats off to you. Sounds like you got some rare finds there. I love the color of these tiles, Cal says. They have a very, they have a very public restroom sort of quality to them, to me. <laughs> now I'm thinking of that amazing intro to the other Carpenter's song. Calling occupants of interplanetary craft. I don't think I know that one, Sparrow. Windows 95, blue, green. I think this is the exact same shade of tile, the color that the tiles were in the restroom at my elementary school when I was a kid. the demo and see what the demo does because I actually can't figure it out. Teal hype. Oh no, I didn't watch the demo. I have a new emote, it is coincidentally how Frowny feels, confused. What? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good approximation. I think that's why this color has to be so appealing, Cal says. Nostalgia goggles. So far as I'm aware, there's only one action to perform in the game, which is setting down that that uh, yellow brick. And you can only place one at a time, and you can't do anything with it. So I'm going to watch the demo and see what it does. Well, it immediately starts off with a different... How is it moving the brick? Wait a minute.
my brick doesn't move. Yeah, I thought that I actually thought that too. I thought I thought that was it. I thought I was supposed to yeah, to reflect the attacks back, but uh All I seem to be able to do is to just place a fireball or place a mirror and then the fireball destroys it. I'm trying to like run into it. I'm trying all the buttons. There's four buttons. None of them seem to do anything except the one that places the brick. Baffling. I've never come across one of these games that's just unplayable. <laughs> figured it out. We gotta build a wall of slime. Alright, I'm making progress. Um, yeah, put it in the, I'd put it in the music channel, Tusk. You can put it in music or general. Either of those I think would make sense. You know what? This is actually kind of a cool game. No, it's a different button. You press A to set a brick, and you press B to launch it. Oh, 
Oh, I can walk around up here too? Oh. Well, that makes things way easier. Ooh, I almost died. Victory! Looks like there are probably 10 levels. Thank you for the GG. No, I hit the button. Still think that's a victory. Thank you for the GG. Thank you for the trophies. behind your bricks is definitely like a pro strat. Very, uh, very important move. No! Strong low, low vibes. Played, uh, we played a handful of these Nature Clan games, and yeah, this is this one has been more low low than any of them. The thing that's a little rough is you can't put a you can't put your gold brick on an empty square. Oh, I got lucky there. This seems surprisingly good. What year is this thing from? Um, I don't remember. Like 20... 2006, I think. We were talking about that last time. I think 2006.
no. How I'm still alive, I will never know. No, I didn't. The previous one didn't come that far. 2015? Oh, I'm wrong. I'm way wrong. I mean, the game is some random bootleg, right? Who can know? Who can know when the original game was made? You know, it doesn't... It doesn't include data on where they stole these games from. <laughs> the company that makes the plug-and-play started in 2006. Alright, that's where I got mixed up. Dream Gear started in 2006. Despite Dream Gear formed in 2006, but it would be another 11 years before they would make all of our dreams come true. Level 4. Very generous with the extra lives, and thank goodness for that. I have no idea where it's safe to be. <laughs> it seems like the answer to that is nowhere. <laughs>
That was a hit. The good news is, this game seems beatable. The bad news is, I think I'm going to have to play until I beat it. doing so well. Apparently this is a knockoff of Kickle Cubicle on the NES. Never played it. Never played it either. But now I've played the superior jank version. We trust could be a stream motto. <laughs> wow. 
robbed. Oh, that was so close. Finally, we cleared it.
finding some safe spots is definitely key. <laughs> What's that line? No, what's that line? I don't know what that means. Oh. So much work lost. It looked like a sword. I don't know. I can't tell you. It was enough to panic me, is all I know, for sure. Victory! I didn't see a sword that time. That was it? That was the last level? Did we win? I think we won. I thought there were going to be nine levels. Well, victory! Thank you for the trophies. Thank you for the GGs. Thank you, cows, Mansta, Sparrow. Yeah, it seemed like there were going to be nine levels. Oh well. Hey, we did it. First game of the night, already a victory. It was confusing, but I figured it out, and then I beat it. Hmm. I dripped a drop of coffee on my, uh, on my robe. Can't have that. I got the bad ending. Glad I got to see one of the 50 video games included, but I got to be heading off to bed. Good night, cows. Thank you for being here. I'm sorry we started this so late in the night. I uh, I hate to uh, I hate to rob you of the uh, of the experience. Glad you got to be here for some of it. I hope that you sleep well. Hopefully I'll get to see you tomorrow too. You 
well until then, cows. I'll have to catch the VOD. <laughs> Neat game, should put it on speedrun, Mansta says. <laughs> So, what is Police Dog? Police Dog Lazy. Do you think that's supposed to be Lassie? Police Dog Lazy. Look at that dog. Like, that's some high-quality graphics for, for, for the, this plug-and-play. <laughs> Oh, I have to remember where he buried those things. All right, I get, I understand the game. Uh oh. Apparently, one of them was a mine. What? There's no music in this game. Hey, there's another time bomb. Great. Victory! It even says victory. All right. Okay, there's something around up here. No, that second one was a bomb. Game over. Oh, uh, whoop. Never mind, I thought we had continues. Alright, well, I understand how the game works now. That's sort of a little triangle there. Ignore those two. And one up to the left, and then down, and then back around. Okay. Oh, I saw where the bombs were, at least. There's one, two, there's something here, three, four, five, and one more over here. Victory. Why is there no music? He has laser eyes. Lazy. Away with you. Oh, I need to be watching this. I'm in trouble because I didn't see where the bombs were. <laughs> I didn't see him place a single bomb. Alright, so some of the first things were bombs, so I'm going to dig up in reverse. Should be one more good thing over here in this area, if I saw correctly. Nope. Victory. Hey, I didn't even have to watch. Alright. Focus, Frowny. Really, the only thing we need to learn is where the bombs are. So, bottom right of that bush. Because everything else we can just find by process of elimination. All right, there's only one bomb. Uh, we have enough time, I think, that we could we could scan the entire yard. And we have no idea where anything else is. I mean, I guess it's good to know his general path. Victory. I've already
already worked out the meta of the game. All right, oh, two bombs. Victory. The oh, where's the music? No, that bomb is in a nasty spot. I know where it is. And I think it's alright, because he didn't actually put any goodies near it. That's my big worry, is that he's going to put a goodie, like, right on top of a bomb. Where in the world is item number 10? My goodness. Bomb right in the middle of the field. What a jerk. And next to that one bush down there. I didn't see him place a bomb down there. Well, victory nonetheless. It's an anti-stealth game. I think I got a little bit cheated by that one bomb. Okay, there's one to the right of that one bush and one to the upper left of that other bush. Oh no, I'm panicking. Where is it? No, I hit a middle of the field bomb again. 
And my time didn't refill. And I hit another bomb. Game over. We were so far. We were seven levels in. All right. Well, from the top. I think this is beatable. I just wish there were music. All right. So it's one to the right of that bush down there and then right on directly on top of that other bush. He didn't place a single bomb. So if I hit a bomb, I'm going to feel mightily cheated. Let's go. Stage three. Those bombs are in bad places. Those bombs are in bad places. They are right near goodies. And they're not really near anything to define, like, uh, I'm hitting both of those for sure. Yep. I mean he put a he put a goodie exactly where a bomb was. And the thing is he did it more than once too. What a loser. I don't like that guy. Not one bit. on that bush and then like right in the middle over there again with goodies shockingly close close by There was no way to get that without also getting the bomb. You tell him, Frowny. That is not where that bomb was. That was much more to the right. That was much more to the right.
If only it weren't a scientifically proven fact that dogs are incapable of smelling gunpowder. Then we'd know where the bombs were for sure. Alright, they're both right next to each other, so if he doesn't lay anything else in that quadrant, we'll be fine. <laughs> Don't go back over there. I'm not feeling very fine. <laughs> Dogs are incapable of discerning a lot of smells. I have absolute unwavering faith in the ability of dogs to smell everything. Gotta figure out how to manipulate the bomb placement. That's the speedrunner strat. I swear he just put a bomb directly on top of a diamond. I know there's a diamond over this way, and there's also a bomb. There's the diamond that was under the bomb. I don't like that the things aren't where he places them. <laughs> they're like, they're slightly off. Well, I lost this life. <laughs> he put two items on top of that second bomb. <laughs> He put one to the left of it and one to the right of it. There's no way to not dig up a bomb. Ugh. I'm not 100% sure where the other one was. Get me out of there. I'm on my last life.
bummer. <laughs> this is so unfortunate. Okay, both of those bombs are in that upper left corner over there. And there's a, another thing here. Alright, so that should be it. I should have no reason to ever go near where those bombs are. Bomb to the bottom right of that top bush. And that's the only one. No, I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. bomb right in the middle of the field and the other right to the right of that bush. Donatello, you thief! He must be expelled from the Ninja Turtles immediately! There's a bomb. All right, there's a bomb in that gap. <sighs> he just he puts them in the most inconvenient places. It's like he's not even on my side.
There was no bomb down there. There was no bomb down there. There was a bomb not exactly there, but in that general area. But there was no bomb down there. Where's the last goodie? Where is it? I'm never going to beat this. This is going to be the rest of our night. The recommended exposure time for staring directly into la Lazy the Laser Eye Dog is 1.32 hours. I don't know about that, Sparrow. It wasn't the event I wanted, but a different one on accident. Thank you for the good luck wishes a while back, friends. Was I... Uh, no, am I on another level? Did I win? Here's the thing. I didn't watch any of that, so I have no idea where the bombs are. This is pure luck. I got victory right at the last microsecond. Well, here we go. I exploded this time. From the top. So the thing is, the thing is, he doesn't even have to place bombs because we've seen him go around without even placing any. So it like the RNG, the RNG does not even mandate bomb placements. So if we were really lucky, This is basically Twilight Princess when you're in wolf mode. It is. It is. No. Ooh, those are some nasty bomb placements. I don't know where the other thing is. Speaking of which, I should play some more of that until I fall asleep in my utter misery that this is the longest coattails of COVID. Oh, that's a shame, Sparrow. I thought uh, I thought you were uh, on the upswing. All right, I didn't see him place any bombs. I don't know if you guys did, but I mean, if the very the very first thing he placed might have been a bomb, but I didn't see any otherwise. I didn't see the first thing he placed, so Yeah, 
It looked like we got a really lucky round. Which is going to go to waste. There we go. I had to take the rest of the week off. I'm seemingly not getting any better, Sparrow says. I mean, I hope that turns around. I don't like to feel, I don't like to hear that you're not feeling well, my friend. That was my fault. My girlfriend got COVID and she was sick for a few weeks. I'm lucky because I'm seemingly unaffected by it, Tusk says. Yeah, pretty much everyone I know has gotten it, but uh, I have a, uh, except for, except for me and Jelly. Thanks, mate. I feel for your girlfriend. My sister's BF has been over her house regularly since she's had it. And he hasn't caught it. Some people are seemingly immune. <laughs> it's an improvement from the first five days or so, but it's like I've entered a second phase of chronic fatigue, runny nose, cough, and headache, and I'm being woken up by the dripping at the back of my throat, it's truly awful and wouldn't wish it on anyone. I don't know if I'm hearing thunder or if I'm hearing my neighbors take their trash to the curb <laughs> because it is garbage day. I've been taking multivitamins every day, garlic tablets, and trying to eat well. Just waiting to turn the corner. This guy just puts so much stuff right on top of the bombs. I am doomed. That bomb was nowhere near that far to the left. Uh, neither was that one. I don't know even why I even bother talking. There should still be one more thing over in this area. T 
time over. That's a victory. It's a victory even if we don't find all the things. Wait a minute. Can you really just beat the game by not even playing? It's a victory because you had lots of fun. Welcome in, Chompy. I'm just going to let the time run down and see if it tells me victory. Zinc helps with all illnesses, Tusk said. says. I think my multivitamin has that. I take probably too many multivitamins. I take them all as individual pills. Who knows if there's any difference or if I should take a singular vitamin pill. <laughs> Getting deep into the metagame now. I suppose it's better than not taking any. I take a, I take a daily multivitamin. I actually take two because it's a, my multivitamin says to have it twice a day. And I take a fish oil tablet because, I don't know, I read, I read some pseudoscience somewhere that said those are good for you and fell for it. Failing! <laughs> all right, all right. Well, let's see now. Fish oil tabs are good for you. That's what I've heard. That's what I've heard. But I don't know. I don't necessarily... I don't necessarily always trust myself. I can come across... Uh, I can come across some stuff. You know? Like, I can come across, like, health advice. And... Uh, and and read it and know it's pseudoscience and still believe it even though I even though I know it no no not to trust it so I don't trust myself <laughs> and I feel like you know we were talking about that the other night I feel like all nutrition is kind of is is kind of verging on pseudoscience. failing so it looks like you probably have to get it looks like you probably have to get at least half of the items you don't lose a life when you fail though so you can i think you can kind of cheese the game if you don't like your bomb placements then you can let the time run out on purpose and get a new uh get a new set of uh things it's almost as though everyone's different yeah well see that's the problem that's the problem with nutrition is that it's too um it's too complicated because like er er every possible food you can eat is made of so many different things and then 
and then every person is made up is is and every person seems to be so different but like they'll do things where like they find a correlation like they find that like people would get like a lot of a uh, Like, they'll get a lot of, like, carrots in their diet, and they'll seem to live longer. And they'll be like, oh, so carrots are good for you. They make you live longer. Well, maybe that's because of the beta carotene in them. And then they'll do a study where they give people isolated beta carotene, and then they die, so and then they die sooner. And it's like, well, <laughs> it's more complex than we thought. So it's just every, uh, like, the studies always go like that, it, seem, it would seem. All right, I'm going to reset this. And I'm going to stop experimenting with the meta and just uh, try, to, try to do it. Make a couple more legitimate... Attempts. Because I want to dig up all the things anyway. If I win, I want it to be with a complete run. I don't want it to be because I let the timer run down a hundred million times. That seems illegitimate. Also, I hate the I hate the bomb placement that I immediately got here. One lady who lived uh, to be 115 smoked cigarettes and drank till she passed. When she was asked in an interview why she didn't stop smoking, her response was gold. She said, all the doctors who told me to quit have already died. <laughs> I just swept the whole environment. How did I miss? How did I miss one of the things? Strategic timeouts for a tough one might be better than risking a life. It might be, but. Why would I employ a clever strategy when I can suffer through doing things the hard way? Touche. <laughs> Victory. Those bomb placements, if if actually true, are not really that bad.
Nice. That's got to be thunder that I'm hearing. No. All right. There's a couple really nasty item placements here. I'm probably going to hit a bomb. Yep. I shouldn't hit I shouldn't hit another one though. Oh yeah, so that like, like I just said that I think that's thunder. There might be a storm, so if the, if the stream suddenly cuts out, I'm probably okay. But it's just the uh, the storm has uh, you know sometimes eats my power and or internet. Um, I don't know if the, perhaps it was a you problem. Oh no, I didn't watch. I have no idea where the bombs are. Well, I'm sorry, friends. We came a long way and I just ruined it because I was worried about the, the stream dying. I was looking at the cat. I was watching the capture in the and the stream feed on my tablet. I'm sorry. Victory. Stage eight. Here we go. All right. Watch this time, Frowny. Watch and think. That's a great place for a bomb. Way over there. That's a pretty good one, too. Just don't put anything near it. No, what are you doing? Oh, he put both bombs way out of the way and then put stuff next to, the right next to both of them. I hate this guy.
Those were such bad odds. That I would get lucky for her to put the bombs way out of the way both times and then end up putting three or four objects right next to them, even though they were so far. Ooh. Stage nine. Fairly happy with this round. I liked uh, I liked to replace most of the stuff. Nice. I wanted to say I like replaced all the stuff. Stage ten. No, it goes on forever. This game is the strangest version of Minesweeper. <laughs> Oh, that's bad. This is real bad. I'm just going to have to get kind of lucky with these because he, he placed a bomb here and he put three items over here. Behind it. There's one, two, three. All right. And then there's another bomb down here with an item behind it. There we go. It's looking okay. It's looking okay. Is the last one over here too? Yes. Win! We won! Victory! I didn't even have to cheese it and we won. That's how it goes. Oh, the silent terror is over. <laughs> oh my goodness. Do not failing. Thank you for the trophies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the GGs. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that game was kind of nasty, but I'm happy because we won. Oh, remember what music sounded like? Remember when music used to exist? All right. Deviledom Doom. Let's try this one out. This might be the last one we do. There's no title music. That's a bad sign. It's another silent game. Also, it looks like it's Bomber... Bomberman. Oh, no.
Oh, it got me. Four lives left, I think. Is he going to show a three now? No? I don't know what that four meant. Two? Okay, I just missed it. Two lives left? I, I, I really don't understand this game. No! One life left. It's weird because the enemies, like, instantly respawn. That's the thing that's weird about this game. Thank you for the wheel task. We can spin that in a moment. The, that one enemy didn't respawn from the same location. That's odd. I don't think the items are power-ups. I think they're just uh, points. If they're anything. No! I still have a life? This is pellet throwing entity. It's the most bomber looking bomber man looking not bomber man I've ever seen. Oh, those those pickups are mandatory. You can't throw pellets without them. Your your pellets actually run out. game over i don't think this game so my my expectation is this game probably doesn't have an ending i think you just play on this screen forever for high score but we're gonna play it longer to see but my my initial thought is that this is a high score game and it never ends until you die so this might not be something beatable did you repl replace the battery in resident evil 2 i haven't tusk I do want to do a full playthrough of it, but I'm I haven't bothered to replace the battery because I I really want a lot of time to pass now before we try it again so that I forget what we already went through. So it will be kind of fresh to me again when we pick it up. I really do want to play all the way through it. We might do another Resident Evil game first. I might play the remake on GameCube. Um I played that one um I played through that one when uh, when I was younger and really liked it, and, but I haven't touched it in a long time, so it might be fun to replay that one. It'll be it'll be really fresh to me. It'll be almost like a new game. It's been so long. The wheel has chosen a Belizean Heat. This is the one that is ranked 4X's heat level. And that says you must be strong to handle this sauce. Oh, I've got a cracker already. Nice. Yep. 
my tongue is still tender from the war hit earlier. Uh. I can handle it. We know that Frowny is strong. <laughs> Thank you, my friends. I think I'm okay. I think it's wearing away. I wonder what pepper they put in the Belizean heat. Maybe bird's eye. I think it's just habanero pepper. Yeah. Marie Sharp seems to be like a one pepper kind of brand. They're just it's just different concentrations of uh habaneros and all the sauces. It would seem. I think every bottle says habanero pepper sauce. All right, let's try it again. I'm going to play cautiously. And, you know, see what kind of score we can get. Nice. I got two of them with one pellet. That's efficiency. No. My opponent, the like the other the, the the only other character that can fire pellets has a bad habit of like respawning in inconvenient places. No, move. It could be that the other... The other character that can fire there, it could be... That my opponent um, has a fixed number of lives and a level will roll over after a certain amount of deaths. Since I have a fixed number of lives. I don't really think that's likely to be the way the game works. But... It is, I, I can't say it's not a possibility. I'm out of bullets. There we go.
Sorry, I'm going to read that in a moment, Tess. I think my opponent is a spider. I couldn't see the legs before, but if you look really closely, it appears to have, like, spider legs. All right, um, habanero peppers are great. One of the hottest peppers I've ever had right from the plant was a Caribbean bird's eye pepper. I eat pepper extracts that are on par with bear mace. I know the smaller a pepper, the hotter it can be. That tiny pepper brought tears to my eyes. <laughs> trouble. I'm out of ammo. Thank goodness. I plan to hang out up here and just camp this guy for points. It's a good plan until I run out of ammo. Whoa. Was out of ammo there and got real lucky he decided to turn 
Uh, there's nothing but luck keeping me alive. Yeah, so I, I think my I think my prediction is correct. I don't think that this has levels. I don't think it ever rolls over. I think you just play until you run out of uh, until you run out of luck and you lose your lives. Is this an NES cart? This is a plug-and-play, Chompy. It's a plug-and-play device. It's called 50 Video Games Included. By Dream Gear. It came out in 2015. No, I lost a life. Rip the perfect run. I knew I was taking a risk, but... I had been fairly confident it was going to work out for me. And so when it didn't, I was sad. Another life down the tubes. Nine million Scoville per microgram is the hottest extract I have to success. It's insanely hot. Thai pepper, which I was warned not to eat. That pepper, which I was warned not to eat. This. So if you want to try here. You know it's bad when the lady picking hot peppers from the garden barehanded uses a pair of tongs and napkins to grab a single pepper off the plant. That was bad. I think I got spawn killed twice. That's what I get for picking on this guy so much. Oh, 
Oops. Hey, and that's it. All right, my friends. Well, I don't think there's an end to this game, so we will play one more. <laughs> I thought this would probably be the last time we did, but seeing the kind of game that this appears to be. Do you know how much this uh, would have sold for? I'm not sure, Chompy. Um, you know parents 100% said... Well, this has 50 games, so why would we buy X? Yeah. I do know that on the very first night we played this, that a Cows was so impressed with it that she went and bought she went and bought one off of like eBay or something. <laughs> um, I got mine at a thrift shop for like two or three dollars. But uh, I would I would expect it was probably like in the 10 to 20 range. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow, Angela says. See you tomorrow, Angelus. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. Good luck with your stream tomorrow. Thank you again for the raid, as always. I really appreciate you. And we'll, uh, we'll look forward to seeing you again. Tomorrow night is uh, tomorrow night is Mystic Quest in the first part of the stream, and maybe Super Ghouls and Ghosts in the second. Um, it kind of depends on how Mystic Quest goes. If that stretches on real long, I might not have time for Super Ghouls and Ghosts. It's uh, it's not. I, I don't think this is terrible but at all. It's just not good. <laughs> Alright, Dune War. Dune War will probably be the last game we play tonight, my friends. Let's see what this one's all about. Some of the games are actually quite enjoyable. I mean, they're all probably, you know, clones of things that already exist. But because I don't know what they're clones of, they get, like, extra credit. Another one. This is another game with no title music. That is worrying. It's asteroids. Oh, hang on. I don't understand how my character controls. It is asteroids. This is just a port of the Amiga Dune game. So, it controls very weird, very weirdly, my friends. You can't just, it's like tank controls. You can't just push a button and have him turn the button you're pressing, have him turn the direction you're pressing. It, um... It, it, he has to, like, turn all the way around. And there's one button to fire, and there's another button to walk. You can fire and walk at the same time, though. That's good. Again, though, it looks like this is another game without an ending. It's just gonna be, because it said, it said peak score. Which was weird, peak score instead of high score, but... Oh, so it is, it's tank controls, and also they're inverted. I have a feeling a lot of these are high score. Well, so far, so far high score has been the exception rather than the rule. Um... Most of the games we've played have had an ending. 
Uh, they've had a set level count, and you just have to make it through the end of the last level. It's very, it's actually been very rare for one to be endless, uh, an endless high score chase so far. In fact, there may only be, there may only be two that are like that. The ones we just, the ones we just played. Let's take a look. We'll come back to this game. Wonder Rabbit has an ending. Police vs. Thief has an ending. Road Worker has an ending. Uh, ending, ending, ending. Fish Story, I couldn't reach the end. It counts the levels. I made it to like level 23 or something, and the levels kept repeating, but it did keep counting them. So this one, I couldn't reach the end, but I have reason to suspect it will eventually end. Death Bomb ends, Burbles ends, Cannonade, I could not reach the end. But again, it has levels. They're not counted. So it may, the levels for it may loop. I can't really tell. So that might be high score chase. Diamond ends, island ends. Power robot, again, I couldn't reach the ending. But the way it's structured, it, re it really seems like it has to have one. The levels are numbered and they are, I never saw them repeat. But I just couldn't get very far. Well, I got pretty far, but I couldn't get to the end. And then both of these end, and then these two... This... Whoop. Deviledom Doom clearly doesn't end, and Dune War looks like it doesn't either. So it's really, it's been the exception. I would have thought the same as you, that, that, that surely they'd all just be simple high-score chases. I mean, they are all simple games. But, uh... It's actually been very rare that they that they've been like that. Immediately dead. I said that the tank controls were inverted, but what it is is it's clockwise and counterclockwise. Which is a very difficult way to think about moving your character. But yeah, you press left to make him turn clockwise and right to make him do anti-clockwise. I do not like this game, by the way. That's actually awesome. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Uh, unless you mean the clockwise thing. Uh, if you mean, like, the, the levels, the games... Ah. Uh, if you mean that's awesome that the game's mostly in, I couldn't agree more. Cause I'm 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 pretty much never motivated by high score chase. It's not it's just not interesting to me. I would much rather just I'd much rather like I'm motivated by an end screen. If I know a level has if I know a game has an ending, I really want to reach it. But if it's just, you know, like, max out the score counter, I don't know. It, that doesn't really motivate me very much. When I see the things coming at me, I just, I can't turn quickly enough to get out of the way. Uh, 
And I can't think in terms of, like, turning counterclockwise and clockwise. I just want to push left to make my guy turn left, right? Or right to make him turn right. Oh, why did they give it such bogus controls? High score chase is only fun against friends, Tusk says. I mean, that would definitely make it better. I'm not much of a competitive gamer. Maybe because I'm bad at games. can't understand left and right. <sighs> you can't even see your score while you're playing. No, why did he go up? He wasn't even facing that way. I'm a competitive gamer, Tusk says. Just very much, uh, I'm very much a solo player. Well, I don't think there's a whole lot more to get out of this game, sadly. So why don't we take a look at water pipes? I'm not a jerk though. I mean, I wouldn't I would never imply that Tusk. I would never let a game hurt a friendship, which is why I stopped playing Monopoly. <laughs> Hang on. This one has title music. I want to hear it from the start. Well, it's that classic... It's that classic, uh, game, you know? Connect the thing to the things and don't spill the water out. It was, there was bound to be a version of it.
I was trying to just go for something really simple. You can overwrite pieces. I did it, but I don't know how to do it now. Fresh start. I don't know if it matters that our if our pipes are gonna spill water or not. I've gotta figure that out. Alright, cool. It doesn't matter if we spill. The top of the screen is oddly reminiscent of the Legend of Zelda inventory. one of those games where the frame mate rate of the stream makes only certain things appear on screen because I have no clue what's happening here it may be it might just be because it's really dark hang on let me let me see if I brighten it up if it'll help thank you for saying something Brownie, do you own a CDI? No, Tusk. I wish I did. I wish I did. If I had, if I had bottomless dollars, if my wallet was full of money that I could just throw something at, I would love to buy a CDI and uh, lots of stuff for it. Mostly the Nintendo games, but. I've had that in the past and watching Yars Revenge on the stream. Some of the, the stuff not coming through. Yeah, so, sorry about that. I was playing some, one of the games I was playing earlier was like, I was afraid it was going to wash out the screen, and then I turned around and did the exact opposite. This one's tricky.
Okay. Hey, VR. Thank you for the uh, raid. Pleasure to have you here. Welcome to your friends. How's it going, my friend? How was your uh, stream? I played VR for too long. Uh, just wondering because you started collecting a while back when things weren't crazy priced like they are now. Yeah, yeah, I did, but I just, I never came across the CDI. Uh, it was too dark. You can just, you can see the grid now right on. Thank you. Thank you, Chompy, for saying something. Um, because, yeah, I, I turned the brightness down before because it was too, because the screen would, was, would have been too washed out. But then, yeah, I, I didn't know it was too dark. So I thank you for helping me. Went all right. Playing more Yakuza Judgment tonight. Debuted a song. It was a swell, low energy evening. Right on. We're kind of uh, we're kind of low energy right now, um, as well. Playing uh, fifty video games included. It's a uh, plug-and-play compilation with uh, just a, a bunch of random stuff in it, mostly clones of other games. Uh, but it's got a it's got a charm to it that uh, keeps me coming back. Surely this doesn't have too many levels, right? Oh, look, they placed a piece. Is, is that required, or can I skip it? What do we think? I'm gonna skip it. I think it's required. Oh, no, I messed up. I, I already broke this uh, level. Um, I don't know if I can fix this. Oh no, that's the piece I needed. That piece was not required. <laughs> I thought for sure, well... I see this looks like pipe dream a pipe dream clone from back in the day. Yeah. I knew this game had to be in here. The water the the pipes and water game has always gotta be in here. For the record, I'd happily watch a stream of a game where I had no clue what's happening, Chompy says. <laughs> that piece was a farce, Tusk says. Yeah. It's all, the, nothing, nothing matters. Nothing matters in this game. But that's all right. That timer is moving down real quickly.
victory. I actually used the mandatory piece. Mario is happy with you. <laughs> My life's ambitions are then complete. No! I even placed the pipe. I even placed it, and it was still... Time out. I disagree. What? Hang on, what's wrong? Brownie, are you going to see the motion movie? What's a motion movie? I haven't heard of this, so probably not. Me and my grandpa used to play that all the time on our Windows 98 PC. Lots of uh, fun memories. The Mario movie. Yeah, I'll see it when it's streaming somewhere, Tusk. Or maybe I'll pick it up on Blu-ray, but uh, I'm not going to go to the theaters for it. I only go to the theater like once or twice a decade, and I already went and saw John Wick 4, so like, I'm done with the theater for at least another like five years. I don't know what I did wrong that... that that didn't count. Again, look, it's it just stopped. Alright, well, I'm considering the pieces that are already there. I'm just considering them obstacles now. And I'm just going to avoid them. Maybe that's what I was supposed to be doing all along anyway. Oh no, I put a bad piece. I've ruined it. I, this can't be repaired. Oh yeah, it can. I need vertical stuff. I need vertical stuff. I've never received so many horizontal pipes in a row. That's completely bogus. Who goes to the movie theater anymore? Ah, this is frustrating. This must have this must have an ending. I hate to play all these levels again. There we go. One of the, yeah, one of the preset pieces did look dark, but the other one didn't. And there's no reason why it shouldn't have worked that I can discern, so I'm just going to ignore the, the pieces and just consider them dead zones. I 
four of the same piece in a row. Very cool game. seen the movie yet myself only heard good things uh from friends lately yeah i've only heard i've only heard good stuff about it so i'm sure it will be uh i'm sure it'll be a fine watch but i can wait i can wait to see it a solid fun movie chompy says right on Expectations for it was that it would be sort of a sort of a safe generic product of a movie. I don't really know whether or not that's going to be the case until I see it, but uh, figured it would be. Uh, you know, I, I figured it would be fine. ago I was able to delete pieces and now suddenly I'm not. That's my take. I wish it would have been weirder slash more adventurous. Yeah. And I I pretty much expected there's no chance of a, of a weird or adventurous movie coming out of it. pieces. No, I wasted it. I got so used to garbage. Almost caught back up to where we were. I think I earned an extra life, too, even. Which is pretty cool. No! There we go.
That's amazingly bad luck when it comes to the vertical pieces. Ugh. This game is infuriating. put that in a bad place. That's a shame. Sixteen stages. Come on, where is the ending? <laughs> Victory! Alright, I'm glad to be done with that one. <laughs> that was, uh... I expected this game to be here. And it was, and I got exactly what I expected out of it. I think we'll wrap up here, my friends. I think this will be the end of our stream. We, uh, it's good to end it on a game that actually has an ending. since we found one and we achieved it I think we'll call it a night thank you for being here for the stream my friends as always I put some rough games on the schedule and so it's very good of you to stick with me through them uh, Earthworm Jim was the disaster I expected it to be 
Probably won't come back to that one for a little while. And this was, uh, you know, 50 video games included. None, none of these were super magical. The, uh, the first one that we played, the Mirror, Devil Mirror World, was, uh, was pretty interesting. That was probably the best of the bunch tonight. But, uh, any of them that we're able to beat, I'm happy with. So I should be back tomorrow night. Um, 11 p.m. is the target time for startup. I only have Mystic Quest on the schedule for tomorrow night. Um, we may play Super Ghouls and Ghosts after Mystic Quest. We may not. It depends on how long we go for with Mystic Quest and, and what that's like. Um, because I should be wrapping the stream up a little bit early tomorrow. And Friday night stream, I don't have anything on the schedule yet. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to stream Friday night. I'll let you know in the Discord. Um, if we do, we might play Haunted Castle. We might play Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Uh, I'm going to try not to start anything new um, on Friday because it's a dubious stream. And I'd, uh, I'd hate for uh, someone to, to miss the beginning of something because I failed to give a good warning. Um, but we'll probably be starting some new stuff next week. Um, there's going to be a lot of Contra on the stream. We might play Contra tomorrow. Or, uh, we might play Contra tomorrow or Friday, now that I think about it. Um, there's definitely going to be a lot of Contra on the stream next week. Uh, we should be starting up Air Fortress. So, some good things. But, in the immediate future, Mystic Quest and or Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Thanks for the stream. Thank you, Chompy. We'll uh, raid out. I'm going to send everyone over to uh, Just Ellie will do. Ellie's got a, a comfy, cozy type stream. It's a good place to relax. She's been playing through uh, Breath of the Wild in anticipation of the uh, new game, like uh, many of us are feeling. something a little bit uh, laid back and relaxing. I could recommend to come along. And that's it, my friends. One last time, thank you for being here. I hope you are well until I get to see you again. I hope that I get to see you again very soon. But we are done for tonight. I am all out of stream. It is time to head out. Let's go on an adventure. <laughs>